Glory be to the Almighty. Glory be to the Almighty. I would like to welcome you to another beautiful week. This is the prophetic prayer for the week. And I want you to believe God that this week shall be the best week ever for you. I know that God is set to do the unusual for you. The Lord has told us that this week is going to give us access into our greater heights. If there are things that seem to be impossible to you, God is going to open a new chapter for you and He will give you a long lasting testimony. Wherever you are, I'd like you to begin to go ahead and begin to praise the name of the Lord. I appreciate Him, glorify Him, praise him. Give him thanks. Give him honor. Give him thanks. Because there is none like unto him. That you slept and woke up this morning is because the Lord sustained you. He did not allow the enemy to prevail against you. Celebrate God and just worship him. Give him praise. Give him honor. Give him adoration. Father, we celebrate you. Jesus, we love you. We give you praise. We give you honor. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your grace. You are our Father indeed. You are our Maker indeed. Thank you for all that you have been doing for us. For the prayers we have prayed that you have answered. For the prayers we have prayed that you are yet to answer. Father, we say thank you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Now I'd like you to sing this song with me. To appreciate God for keeping you alive. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. Amen. For his mercy and your rest forever. Amen. Amen. For his mercy and your rest forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. In the highest, amen. 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 Glory be to God. In the highest, amen. Amen. For His mercy and your rest forever. Amen. Amen. For His mercy and your rest forever. Amen. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. One more time. You are the mighty God, you are the great I am. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 Go ahead and begin to praise God again. Thank Him from the depth of your soul. Not everyone that slept last night woke up this morning. That you woke up is a reason to celebrate. Tell God how grateful you are. The Bible says, Oh, that men we praise the Lord for His goodness and for His wonderful works to the children of men. 
Celebrate God for his greatness. Celebrate God for his kindness. Thank him for his awesomeness. Thank him for what he has done and for what he will do in this week. Father, we bless your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I prophesy to somebody right now by the authority that is in the name of Jesus. This week, the Lord will fight for you. The Lord will walk for you. The Lord will make way for you. The Lord will open a new chapter for you. In the name of Jesus, things that seem to be impossible by the power that is in the name of Jesus, this week, God will make them possible. This week, God will arise for you. The Lord will defend you and He will make you to smile again. You will celebrate over your enemies and He shall be well with you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Now, our prophetic prayer for this week is found in Exodus chapter 14 and verse 14. Get set to pray today. Exodus chapter 14 and verse 14. Look at what the Bible says. The Bible says the Lord shall fight for you. The Lord shall fight for you. And you shall hold your peace. The Lord shall fight for you. And you shall hold your peace. I don't know who I'm praying for right now. This week, God will fight for you. I pray for you again. This week, God will arise to fight for you. Now, like we do every week, it is one thing for God to speak. It's another thing for you to accept what God has said. I'd like you to profess it to yourself now. Say it with the whole of your power like you mean it. Say, the Lord will fight for me. Now, if you believe that, type it there. Say, the Lord will fight for me. Just type it as, as, a, as a sign that you believe it. The Lord will fight for me. Say one more time, the Lord will fight for me. Let me tell you as an introduction. Our God is a fighter. Our God is a fighter. The Bible says the Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. He's a man of war. And the Lord is his name. One of the names of God is that he's a warrior. He's a warrior. And because he's a warrior, he can fight on your behalf. No wonder in Psalm 24 verse 9, when, when, when they were asking a question, that who is this king of glory? Do you know what he answered them? He said, the Lord of hosts. He is the king of, king of glory. What do we mean by the Lord of hosts? He is not just a warrior. He is also a commander of hosts. He has hosts that can rise up to fight for you. When the men, the, 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 the people of old were attacked by the, by, the, by the Lord, by the enemies. You remember the story of Jehoshaphat. And he could not fight. God sent one of his hosts. Only one angel went into the 
king, I mean, to the camp of Sinakira. Okay. He didn't even draw the sword. He just passed into their midst and sniffed out oxygen from their nostrils. And 185,000 were dead. Belika I prophesy. It doesn't matter how many your enemies are. It doesn't matter how much they have conspired against you. I declare today the Lord will arise to fight for you. The Lord will arise to fight for you. Somebody shouted, Oh God, arise and fight for me. Say it again. Say this week, Oh God, arise and fight for me. Go ahead and just speak to God right now. My father, my father, I need you to arise for me. Rise up on my behalf. Rise up for my wife. Rise up for my children. Fight for us. Fight for us. Rise up for me in the ministry. Rise up for us in our places of work. And fight for us, O God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Now, there are four categories of people I want to speak to right now. That you need to cry out to God. And say, Lord, please fight for me. These four categories of people. If you are in that category. Then you need to cry out. Then you are the owner of this prayer. Number one. You know that you are weak and you are defenseless. You don't have power to fight the kind of enemies that are rising up against you. Because they seem to be much more powerful than you. They seem to be they, be, they seem to be gaining more strength against you. They are in position of authority. They are in position where they, when they speak, you you have to sign, keep silent. And they are bragging because of their position. They are bragging because they know they, they, are, they, are, they have overpowered you already. I declare to you by the power of God. This week, God will arise to fight for you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Bible talks about Abraham. As he was journeying in the course of his journey. The Bible said it, uh, a king saw him. King Abimelech, he saw him and saw his wife and he fell in love with his wife and he said, who is this woman to you? Out of fear because Abraham knew he could not fight. Abraham did not have weapons. He could not confront this great man. And so he said, I cannot do anything. Is my she's my sister because he was afraid for his life. I don't know who I'm praying for right now. There are people that seem to have power more than you. There are people who seem to have strength more than you, and they are terrifying you. Today, your God will fight for you. Your God will fight for you. And Abimelech took the wife. He took the wife. Of, of Abraham, and he, because he knew nobody could fight for him. Hey, the people are cheating you right now. They are doing a lot of things to you because they thought you don't have anybody. I speak by the power that is in the name of Jesus. God will arise for you. He will fight for you. God rose up 
in anger and visited the king and the bible says he began to plague the whole women in that 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 palace even the even king himself god attacked him in his dream and said you are dying oh you are dying oh you are a dead man oh if you don't return that woman that woman that you have taken because she's another man's wife hey what a god that we saw he can enter into the palace of your sick he can enter into the strong man's house of your sick you may not have the power to enter hey kapuli brother bayaka i speak to somebody right now god we arise he will enter into the camp of your enemies he will enter into the covens of wicked wicked one and he will defend you in the name of jesus in the following money the, the king was in a hurry to say take your wife back i pray for you you seem to be defenseless the lord will arise for you please lift up your voice and cry say my father my father i don't have strength to fight this great enemy please arise for me fight for me fight for me go ahead and pray that god who fought for jehoshaphat that god is still alive the god who fought for jehoshaphat hey, all the kings began to kill themselves they began to kill kill themselves that god is still alive Likato God will fight for you. God will fight for you. God will fight for you. No one will be left in the name of Jesus. No one will be left. They will, they will begin to fight themselves. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. The second categories of people that need to pray this this morning there are those who seem to be cheated they have cheated you you have looked here and there there is no one that you can call upon the position that is meant for you they have given it to somebody else they just cheated you like as if you don't matter and their body language to you is that who can you talk to hey we have a defender of the defenseless he can rise up for you when you are cheated i prophesy by the power that is in the name of jesus the lord will fight for you the lord will fight for you i say by the power that is in the name of jesus the lord will fight for you in the name of jesus so there is a God who can fight on our behalf when we seem not to have power when we seem not to have strength when we don't seem to have what it takes we serve the God who can fight for us when we are cheated I like to talk about the story of a woman a woman, a young lady she was just going with her sister to fetch water for their father and the man, a young man saw her and fell in love with her and the young man told the father he said please I want to marry this lady and because the lady was so beautiful the young man made up his mind to serve the father for seven years <laughs> he served for seven years I'm talking about Jacob he served Laban for, for, for because of uh, Rachel and he served Rachel would have been happy she was expecting I'm 
I'm sure she'll be dreaming of her wedding night. If it were to be in this present world, she would have been dreaming of her honeymoon. Imagining the unimaginable. She would have been, she would have been thinking of the unthinkable. Imagining about a lot of things. I can imagine the kind of excitement in her heart. But on the, at the dying moment, she was there at the wedding day. She was there at the wedding day. As the bride, she wore the wedding garment. The wedding was concluded. But when it was the night for her to be taken to her husband's house, because that was the custom of the land, that the wife must be taken in the night. Hey, when it was the night, they now took another person to go and, and Jacob had sex with that woman. Hey, what a terrible thing. I speak, I'm speaking to somebody right now. When it was time to walk, they were always calling you to come and walk. When matters are so destroyed and so confused and they did not have a headway, they knew how to call you and say, ah, go and call so 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 person. It is so good at solving this kind of problem. But when it was time to recommend somebody for promotion, they abandoned you and it looks like you have been cheated. Like all your labor has gone down the drain. I am here to announce to you your God will arise this week. He will fight for you. He will arise this week. God will fight for you. God will arise for you. He will fight for you. How did I know that God fought for it uh, for, for, for Rachel? How did I know? Because when she got married, eventually got married, her, ch her first child was now number 11. <laughs> His first child became number 11. What a terrible thing. What a terrible thing. The, 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 the child that should have been the firstborn now has been pushed to the bar back. Hey, maybe you two are saying, ah, I would have been ahead now. I would have been in level so and so. If not because they cheated me. Can I speak to you by the authority in the name of Jesus? Put your mind at rest. Just like my children will always say, calm down. Calm down. Your God is about to arise. This week, God will arise to fight for you. God will arise to fight for you. How did God fought for uh, 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 for Rachel? God went to place the crown on the head of her own first son. Don't forget the first son of, of Leah. What did he get? He got a curse. Ay, 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 ay. Yeah, Rachel who seem to be happy that the first son is going to inherit all when God came in his power the first son got a curse and the first son of Rachel became the breadwinner of the entire family all of them came to eat under him because God fought for Rachel even though Rachel had died the hand of God was still fighting for the chair. Lift up your hand and say, Father, arise for me. Fight for me. Arise for me. Fight for me. Arise for me. Fight for me. I have been cheated in my husband's house. I have been cheated. I have labored a lot. Yet I have been cheated. 
I have struggled enough. I have been treated. Arise and fight for me. Maybe you fought with your husband. You have labored with your husband. And now that he's now wealthy, he abandoned you and he went to look for somebody else. Hey, now it's time to pray. You have labored for your boss. And now that, he's, that things are rosy, he abandoned you and he went for somebody else. Cry out and say, Father, arise and fight for me. Compensate me for my for my loss uh, 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 cheat. I mean, the, for the cheating that have done, been done to me. Go ahead and just talk to God. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Who needs to pray this prayer? Number three is somebody who is under constant a, a conspiracy you have been in the midst of a conspiracy people are conspiring against you there is like everyone around you they have joined their voices to bring you down it's like only you that they are fighting now and they seem to be united in the fight against you I am here to announce to you if you can pray this morning your God will arise for you the Bible talked about a young man his name was Daniel in the land of Babylon the Bible says all his enemies were against him and they began to look for how a cause to, to nail him. They could not get any reason. And they said, okay, the only way we can catch him is through his, his God. And they conspired against him. In that conspiracy, he was cast into the lion's den. Hey, they have forgotten that the word of God says in Isaiah chapter 43 and verse 2, when you pass through the waters it will not overflow you when you pass through the fire you shall not be born when you pass through anything I will be with you no wonder David said in Psalm 23 verse 4 yea though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I will fear no evil for thou art with me can I tell you you are not alone in that battle you are not alone in that predicament there is a God on your side one song says I have a very big God who, who is always by my side a very big God who, by my side by my side this God will fight for you Daniel went with with I mean God went with Daniel and then he shot the lion's mouth and those who conspired against Daniel they were devoured by the same lion I pray for you today every conspiracy against you it will backfire to send us it will backfire to send us say my father my father arise in my favor destroy all the conspirators against my life in the name of Jesus arise oh God defend me fight for me those who are conspiring against me arise to fight for me arise to fight for me arise to fight for me thank you father in Jesus mighty name we are praying number three or number four sorry and that's the last one maybe you have been under the pursuit of darkness you ran away from Nigeria yet the enemies are pursuing you to where you are you ran away from your um, your, your father's house the battle still pursue you to your husband's house some of them some of you your your battle the battle of your village 
pursued you to Lagos. Huh. And you are wondering, what can I do? Can I tell you, sir, if you are under a pursuit, you are being pursued by the enemy, there is a God who can fight for you. There is a God who can defend you. That God did it for, 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 uh, for Jacob. When Laban was pursuing after him, in fact, Laban said, it is in my power to, to, uh, to, to kill you, to do you harm. I pursued after you because I want to, uh, to injure you. He said, but the God of your father appeared to me and said, you must not touch that man. There is a God who can appear to your enemy. I warned them and said, don't touch my servant. In Psalm 105, Psalm 105, he said, he suffered no man to do them wrong. Yea, he reproved the king for their sakes. Saying, touch not my enemy, am I, am I, my, am I anointed, and do my prophet no harm. There is a God who can restrain your enemies from touching you, from afflicting you, from touching you. That God will fight for you this week. In the name of Jesus. Look at what the Bible says. In the midst of that conspiracy in the midst of that pursuit God rose up for the children of Israel while Pharaoh was pursuing after them Pharaoh was so boastful of himself he was too confident of himself that they pursued them into the Red Sea their God arose and buried Pharaoh in the, in the midst of the Red Sea I declare to somebody right now. Every enemy that is pursuing you from your father's house. Enemies pursuing you in your place of work. Enemies pursuing after your husband. Enemies pursuing after your children. Today God will arise. He will waste them. Say my father, my father. Arise against all my evil pursuers and destroy them. Go ahead and pray in the name of Jesus, my father, my father, arise in your power, defend me, O God, and waste all my evil pursuers. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. We pray now. As I round up today, if God is going to fight for you, you must be His child. God will not fight for another man's child, He will only fight for His own children. So you need to be a child of God if you want God to fight for you. And to be a child of God is very easy. Just disconnect from Satan and come to Jesus. Because the Bible says as many as receive Jesus, there are those who have, who have been given the power to become the sons of God. How do you receive Jesus? Just pray this simple prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I need you in my life. Please come into my life. I confess all my sins to you. Forgive me all my sins. I, I, I accept you as my Savior and my Lord. And I promise to serve you all the days of my life. Write my name in the book of life. And keep me going in your will. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. I pray for you today. The Lord will fight for you. The Lord will defend you. The Lord will open a new chapter for your life. In the name of Jesus. This week shall be a favorable week for you. Your journey this week shall be preserved. The Lord will make way for you where there was no way. Every good thing you lay your hands upon to do. They shall prosper this week. And it shall be well with you. You will return with a big testimony. And the name of the Lord shall be glorified. Thank you everlasting Father. In Jesus mighty name we are praying. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. Are you blessed? Are you blessed? Now if you are blessed, come, come on type it there and say I am blessed, I am blessed. I am blessed, I am blessed. 
Now, please listen to this announcement. Uh, in case you are led uh, in at any point to sow a seed. Uh, now the account of the church is on your screen if you are led by God to sow a seed this Wednesday our weekly online video will come up it is called one hour with the Lord one hour with Jesus we are going to be praying and God will answer number three in case you have received any testimony in all the prayers get a biro and just write this uh this uh this phone number down zero nine zero eight three five nine one eight eight six i like to take it again zero nine zero eight three five nine one eight eight six and the lord shall bless you it shall be well with you I hope to see you on wednesday by the grace of god and it shall be well with you shall we share the grace together in fellowship and now may the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with us now and forevermore amen Amen. 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 Amen in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. See you again in Jesus' name.